William Birch. Yo, yo. Yo, what up, man? You got something to tell me? Yeah, I What's got cracking? a little story. We, we just, uh, I'm gonna, I'll recap on everything so it's fresh. But we were actually talking about if we keep warm beers around the house, no one else would drink them. And I was, huh? <laughs> you made me mo yeah, I No, talk louder. <laughs> talk louder, all right, all right. So, we're talking about warm beers around the house. No one will drink your beers if you keep warm beers. And I was thinking, you know, yeah, if we smoked cools or menthols, you know, that no one would want our cigarettes. Right. So I started telling this story about the time that I, I had a, I got a DUI, and uh, they, you know, they took me downtown after everything, and I had a, a empty pack of cigarettes in my pocket. And he pulls the cigarettes out of my pocket and looks at him and he says, "Why you got an empty pack of cigarettes in your pocket?" And I was like. Well, there's no trash can around, you know, so I just put the cigarettes in my pocket. And he looked at me like I was crazy, like, well, you'll drink and drive, but you won't throw something on the ground, you know? He didn't say that, but I knew that's what he was thinking. So he's like, bullshit, you know? And he starts, like, tearing this pack of cigarettes apart, and I'm looking at him, like, fucking crazy cop, you know? Probably thinks I'm smuggling drugs in an empty pack of cigarettes. Right, right. Anyways, come the story, I was in there, I wanted a cigarette so damn bad when I got released. <laughs> This, this guy got released with me, and I asked him for a cigarette, and he says, yeah, I got a menthol. And I was like, oh, fuck, man. No cigarette, 12 hours. I was like, all right, give me a cigarette. DWI. DWI. No, DUI. No, I got a wet and reckless out of that shit. But, oh, good. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Hell yeah. But um, needless to say, that's where the whole story originated from, was warm beer. Isn't that weird how like when you're talking, it's talking to Chris right here. Motherfucking Chris, aka Paul Bear. Bear Paul. Word. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up? What's cracking? What's, what's your hood like though? What's what? What's your hood like though? What's my hood like? What's your hood like though, nigga? KKK all the way. <laughs> oh, oh damn, you fibbing. I got, I got the white hood on. Unforgiven. <laughs> I ain't KKK, damn it. And this is this you is uh, Billy motherfucking Birch over here, aka King motherfucking William, oh. and Samson, Samson, right behind you, right behind you. No, not behind you. Oh, <laughs> you got to turn up. I'm talking to the cameras. You're right behind the cameras. <laughs> There he is. What's up, baby? My name is Sam Snee. I got to represent right here. I want my nigga William Birch, a.k.a. that motherfucking king right here. Bear Paul, motherfucking Paul Bear Arnold. Chris to the motherfucker. South in your trail. Excuse me for cussing. Mom, sorry. Oh, oh by the way, we got a movie. We got a movie coming out. We got some ideas. We're going to make a movie. Oh, snaps. Oh, yeah, snaps. We can't give you any uh, insight on it because uh, it's still in the making, but it's going to be badass. All green screen. Oh, fucking. green screen. Yeah. I love green yeah, screen. Green screen. Green suits, motherfucker. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got some ideas up my sleeve. I'm going to be a rich motherfucker. I'm going to make a movie. Oh, dude. What's it going to be called? I can't call. I can't tell you. Life of a King. No, no. Say the name. We ain't talking about T.I., nigga. No plot. No, no plot. plot. All right. All right. All right. But he's ill. What is the name? Zero Gravity. Yeah. Zero Gravity. Zero gravity. What's it gonna be about? I can't tell you. Oh, just a little, just a little bit it, of the, the plot. Enough, the enough. A little bit of the plot. Does it have anything to do with the uh, powdered uh, garlic and uh, no, pepper? No, on no, the... no, no, no. Don't it has... give away no secrets. All right. Damn it. No. Here we go. It's all to do with catastrophe. Oh, catastrophe. Like catastrophe. 2012. Maybe. Oh, maybe. But Something. worse. But worse. Oh. oh. Worse level. Just think about zero gravity catastrophe. Panic. Widespread. Terror. Panic. Worldwide. Are you talking about like uh, Japan? No. No. May God bless no. and help them. No. Nope. By the way. Something that's never happened before. Never happened before. Never. Never. Yeah. Never. Never. Never, never will. Except and in if our it minds does. And on the screen. Well, we've seen the Passion of the Christ. Is it deeper than that? Because that's pretty deep, Much. dude. Much. Wow. It's not on a religious level. It's not on a religious level. Oh, okay. So this is just out of frightment? Or? It's called panic. It's panic. It's terror. It's someone. Ta it, like the panic room? No, 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 no. no. See, I can't tell you. I, I was just asking because I'm, yeah, I'm kind of curious to off know the record, myself. When you put the this, will tell you, but when you the put this though. on YouTube, have yep. your viewers comment on it and tell you what they might think the movie will be about. Catastrophe. No, no zero, zero gravity. gravity is the name of the movie. Zero gravity. 
<laughs> oh no, but it's about catastrophe. Catastrophe, panic, um, fear, um, and loathing in Las Vegas. Death on a worldwide level. On a worldwide level. Worldwide. Worldwide. So, so nothing to do with Hiroshima, it's nothing global, to do with World global, War One, Two, you know, or it, it, World it War Three, event, basically already. The event has never happened, and it has never been thought of. So. The events, huh? The events. It's a global event. Global warming. Nope. Oh! Nope. Am I coming close? Nope. Damn it. I know. All you gotta do is stop the tape and you'll hear the whole story. Oh, okay. Folks, viewers of America, <laughs> gotta represent my hood right here, chilling off the road by the moor. Anyways, we're about to check in on the Facebook, and I do appreciate you guys for your time. Oh, matter of fact, mm. the person that's helping us, he, he's, uh, he's a movie producer. He's here locally. His name's Tim Burchett, so we'll give him some credit. You know, everything's gonna smart go. man. Good. Always give yeah. credit to your to your creditors. That's right, and we need a lot of extras too because this is gonna be, I, and all ethnicities, all ethnicities, yeah, yeah. all race, all race. All Women community. are more than definitely welcome to come, literally, physically, mentally, <laughs> uh, psychologically. <laughs> Any way you wanna come, you're more than welcome. Whether you wanna come like. Jerry Springer, or you want to come like Howard Stern? Just We're come gonna, correct. <laughs> just go. Well, you come and you go, but even if you don't come, you, you still got to go. go. Make sure it's not over 10 minutes, oh. motherfucker, because we couldn't put this on there. Oh, two of you? Oh, you know what? Let me tell you something. I got an 11 minute and 28 second video on YouTube. Never seen it done before. How'd you do it? I did it. You did it. I did it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hey, let us know what you think the movie's going to be about. And we'll let you know if you're right or if you're wrong, maybe. Your name? Billy Birch. Last name? A.K.A. motherfucking King William. South. Chris Arnold, A.K.A. Paul Bear, Paul Bear Negro. Oh. Oh. And I'm right here with Snitter Face, A.K.A. I'm using myself in the third aspect in life, in the third point of view. I just want to let it be known and state I'm right here with my niggas. They might like my cousins, like my brothers, like... Family, nigga. Sale. Zero Sound. gravity. Sound. Zero gravity. Sale. Zero gravity. Check, Check him out. Check him out. Check it out. Check it.